A man 35 and up that just have sex with random women has no direction in life. Is that true? What do you guys feel about that? I, I, I don't, I can't really say that I agree with that. I think some people, some men are like kind of booed up younger and <laughs> they're, they're booed up younger and they find out later on that they want to just explore same for women. Like there's some women that are in relationships younger and then want to just do random stuff. Seriously. I mean, they, there are really people like that, but it is nasty. Like the older you get, you see what I'm saying? But nigga, 35 ain't old. What is you talking about? No, I'm not saying that that's old. I'm just saying it's just, so You're not young now, anymore. Girl. Like at 35, at 30, 35, you should be looking to want to be married, like together, like the union. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me get this, Kyle. Let me get go, this. Go, go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Get so em. you they so you gotta to understand. You they about to get you, girl. Nah, men don't even begin life until 35. In a lot of cases. We don't even become who we're supposed to be mentally, physically. Like that's when we that's our prop that's when we hit our stride, you know, because there's different stages, you know what I mean? Like when you're just getting out of high school, your purpose in life is one thing. The stuff that brings you confidence, the stuff that builds you up is one thing. Then another 10 years, you get to, you know, 28, you have a whole different set of morals, principles different things build your confidence you hit 35 you might have family you might have family and your confidence is built on how you provide for your family if you happen to still be single you know which most men you know at that age we're just figuring it out so we're not trying to settle down you know from 35 to i say maybe 42 you were just figuring it out and then people want to come and put the cuffs on you. It's like, what, yo, I just became me or became who I'm supposed to be. And you want to run through and slap the cuffs on me after you don't lived all this life from 35, from 17 to 35, you don't had all the fun in the world. And you about to come take that away from me. That's how most men feel, you know, but I mean, I, I agree. There are some men that are lucky that meet, the woman that they're supposed to be with, the woman that they grow with at a young age. But for a lot of us, we don't. We still out here. And yes, you got to be selective at this age because at this age, bad decisions hurt. You understand what I'm saying? Like who you pick, who you sleep with, that shit hurts a lot more at 35 than it does at 21. You know, you could deal with a crazy woman and lawsuits and cases at 35. That shit, <laughs> that shit gonna hurt. I, I tell you, like, the older we are as men, the more logical we get, right? The more deliberate we get when it comes to finding our mates and things of that nature, right? So I should be out there sleeping around and fucking off. Who cares until 35, right? Because let's say at 36, 37, 38, 39, like, my mind is, yeah, no, I'm ready now. I know how to vet a woman at this point. I've done all the dumb shit. I done fucked them all, right? And now I'm, I'm able to lock down and really find the right one, the right woman that I want to be with, where I don't have to worry about all these additional problems and things of that nature. Right. So I, got I, think, it's, I, got I think it's OK. I think it's OK for men to wait until 35, 40 years old to go and find who they want to spend the rest of their life with. Now, you women, on the other hand, ladies, no offense. Y'all don't have that luxury. OK, y'all don't. Uh, Siobhan, I hope you don't think you do. But you do not, right? Because y'all will age. Some of y'all gonna age like wine. You gonna age. You may age a little gracefully. Some of y'all niggas gonna age like bananas, okay? And you gonna age with the quickness, okay? I hate to be like that, but I'm just keeping it a buck. Not bananas. <laughs> Go ahead, so. Kelly. So Ooh. I guess, what are you saying? Whoa. Go ahead, Kelly. <laughs> Go ahead. So I guess... Uh, my concern is, why do men feel like that's okay? Because you have a penis, you can just stick it in anything. And then when you're ready, I'm going to settle down with a good girl who hasn't done anything. But I've been thotting and bopping since I've been 17. I didn't now that say I'm 35, that. 20 years later, and I've 
suck my penis in everything and everyone and I have community penis. Now I want to settle down with a good girl who's still a virgin. Well, hold on. I want to hear Jay's response. I want to hear Jay Jay response to that. Hold on. What's she you, asking me though, wasn't she? I'm not in the general. You know, we got kids already and a woman at the house. So I don't think Jay is married with children. So I imagine he's the man that people are talking about in this particular topic where he's a, you know, All right, Jay, I'll let you, I'll let you. older than 35, you know, All right, Jay, I'll, let you, like that. I'll let you have no, it, you Jay, gotta... but there was a time before I was married where I was definitely thotting and bobbing around. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead, Jay. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So you, so you think that, say that one more time, Kelly, because you were saying that we no, like, like for we're... example, I know, I know, I know a particular gentleman, and by the time he was nineteen, he already had like one hundred and twenty bodies, and he wanted to marry a virgin, and right now he's thirty three, right? So he feels like, okay, now I'm ready to settle down, and this was when he was nineteen. So obviously, there's so many years and so many other women. It's probably up in the thousand club at this point. But now that you're ready to settle down, you want to settle down with a good girl. And possibly give her all the things you've collected with your community penis over the years. Yes. Like I don't know what like yes. why that's okay. But <laughs> let me numbers, numbers, but numbers real quick, alone. But real quick, you saying hundred and twenty body, you speaking about a superhero. You know what I'm saying? Like these are outliers. Yo, that's a captain of the football team, you know, basketball team. The average man is not doing that. I'm just being not real now. with you. The average 120 bodies. By like, the time he was 19. Mm -hmm. Come on, fam. Like that's, 19, a superhero. that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. That's, that's an outlier. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Like he is just different. <laughs> the average man is not dealing with that. The average man is just finally hitting their stride in their 30s where they can operate with women, where they can see what they want and go get it. You know, most of your life stuff is kind of just falling in your lap or not falling in your lap. You know, everybody has that story where no no man really, the average man is not getting what they want. They're getting what they have the ability what's to available get. To them. What's, a, what's available based on their status. You know what I mean? You don't really, some people get lucky. Once upon a time, you may get lucky and be flying a plane and you don't got no damn license, you know, which is a woman that's way above your caliber and you enjoy it, but you go right back to where you came from. Nigga, you don't belong here flying planes. Like, this is a <laughs> top notch. You got lucky. Go back to where CDL you belong. You got a CDL license. Right. <laughs> right. So the Addition average man well, is not operating how you explain. Additionally, to Kelly's question, additionally, Kelly, the sheer numbers suggest that we are able to go out there and do all those things and, yes, still want the best out there in the world. Yes. Numbers suggest that. I know well, it may not, it may sound like a double standard and y'all may not like it, but the numbers alone. No, it doesn't sound like a double standard. It definitely is. Okay, a oh, sure. Standard. No, I, I, I agree because, it is. But my uh, question is, it is it like, regardless of the double standard, regardless of those, regardless of those I want to know mentally why guys feel like that's okay. Well, but can because I say we that can. Two things. Because we yeah, the prize, two things. Kelly. Because we can. The prize. I just want to say two things. First of all, quest, <laughs> quest, first. <laughs> My dad, my dad's an Air Force veteran. My son, father's an Army veteran. I heard the stories. Y'all were getting it in. So we listen. Plus, I believe you. Prior to marriage, y'all, y'all be getting it in in the barracks. But secondly, because I'm not a woman, I don't have a dog in this fight. However, in another lifetime, I worked in the dental field for 15 years. A doctor I worked for, a white doctor, he literally said he waited till he was 42 to get married. He's married with three, well at the time, three young kids, a white doctor, because he wanted to screw everything. He was in med school, dental school, and he literally said he waited until he got that all out his system before he got married and have kids. So that's just what I've witnessed. Agreed. So that's what I did, right? I just happened to get it out my system a little earlier than 35, but like I also was going at a higher rate. My volume was probably, not probably, significantly higher than average men you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna sit here and say i was one of them superheroes at what jay is saying but clearly i got it all out of my system by like 29 right but there's some dudes that can't get it all done in 29 and they go all the way to day 35 i personally don't see nothing wrong with that you know what i mean and yes once again the numbers suggest that they are allowed to do that and we are still able to ask for the finest of the finest shout out to quest the body snatcher 
I will, yeah, <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look, my, my wife, so, look, I ain't got no so secrets my with my wife. Listen, you, yeah, I ain't got, you talk I ain't got no, wife, I ain't got no secrets. My question. Hold on. My, I ain't got no secrets with my wife. She know about, like, my world prior to us getting married. Yeah, no. Nah. She was just like, it's okay, honey. And Kelly, you know, to, to answer your question, I know that this probably isn't, like, the real answer. But when, when you say, why does it seem like it's okay, there's this um, innate assumption that a man is still searching for the one through all these women. Like there's a small little percentage of you that might consider this particular woman to be the woman you spend your rest of your life with. Maybe not in every situation, but the assumption is if a man is single and he's constantly vetting, you know, going through women, he's looking for something in one of these women. Now, if all he gets is the draws, then that may be all he gets, but there's an assumption that, you're looking for, you know, some kind of wifely material. Whereas, I disagree. I disagree with that. Because I, I have, I have, uh, every time I sit down with patients, and the, there's a couple there, a husband and a wife, and they've been married for over 30 years. I always ask them, well, how did you two meet? You know, what's the secret? Like, how would you, what would you say is the, the reason why you, you picked her? Or, you know, and they all, the man always says, I knew when I saw her, she was one. Always. And they've been married for 30, 40, 50 years. Like, I think when a man sees it, it's like, that's what I want. And it's the woman's job to uphold that standard. But I think when a man sees a woman and interacts with her, he knows what he wants from her. I think they men put women in categories. Yeah, that's not something I would ever take home to mom. That's the woman I could marry. That's the one I'm just screwing. Like, in their mind, mentally, when they meet you, they already know what they want to do with you. But if you mess it up for them then they won't choose you. Right. I feel like and a man so, knows what he wants when he sees well, the, But that's what I'm saying. You know, every man is, or <clears throat> there's the assumption in general, I'll say, that men are trying to look for something more than just booty. Now, if that's all they end up getting, then that's cool. We're cool with that. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, sometimes we go out just for booty. But if we can find, you know, in the search for ass, maybe find a woman that we actually do love and want to be with, there's the assumption that that's why it's okay. Well, I just haven't found the one yet is, is something that a man can always say, whereas that may not be acceptable for a woman. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Men are, we go through phases where we, a huge phase where that's all we want is booty. And no, we're not looking for wives. Even if the right one came across us, we not even, we don't care. That's not what we want right now. When we do want it, we know how to narrow down and get focused and get laser focused on that, which well, which the I question all quest, the time I did. Well, 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 the question quest is for men o older than 35, shouldn't they be doing that narrowing down? Because the assumption gonna, is between nah, like 27 and 35, you're doing as much body snatching as you can. Guess and what? If you get older than that, you should be narrowing it down by that. Our point. shit works until we die. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Our shit works until we die. Okay? We can produce children until... We, or we can create children until we die. Who's putting the cap on us? Cut it out. Now, ladies, on the other hand, I know y'all hate it, but that's why we're getting so much pushback. And I guarantee it was a woman that came up with that idea, right? Was it? Who made the who made the tweet? Oh, I'm sure it was. A it had to be a doggone woman, right? But there's pushback because y'all have a cap. Y'all have a limit. And we hate it for y'all, but blame your creator. <laughs> don't blame us. And don't try to we cap us it. out, bro. <laughs> Don't y'all try to cap us out, bro. That's a man. Hey, we hate him hey, he a woman. I don't cool. care who he is. That is a woman. <laughs> he gender fluid. All right, chill out. I have no smoke. I have a question. I told you I have no dog in this fight. So this is just, okay, I have, why is more questioning and information? So are, are, are you talking, quest, are you talking nature versus nurture? Say, say that again. Are you speaking nature versus nurture? I mean, I don't know what I don't know what you mean by. So that. It's, just, a, it's a it's a man's it's in a man's biology just to have a moment where he just wants sex. Is it nature or nurture? Is it is he programmed to 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 go through this phase or is it biology? So listen, why we are the only species on this planet, right? That isn't expected to go out here and just gallivant around. Lions go through the jungle just slinging rod all through the jungle. Roar! Lions slaying everything. They do That's this shit in true. all other species. They have a harem. They have the reason like, I asked, and this is the reason That's I asked. That's exactly I true, but, but again, we get so you. I told okay. you about we the dentist, right? But then I have a lot of brothers who are in the Moorish community 
and please don't come for me, chat ninjas, if I misquoted, but they say something like, if you do not plant your, you do not expect a fruitful, um, abundant fruitful if your seed is flying all over the place. Pretty much, if you just having sex with a lot of women, you can't plant a strong foundation. He said so seed. Yeah, he like, said you seed. Don't, don't expect fr a fruitful, I forgot what he said, but like if your seed is flying all over the place, don't expect fruitful abundance because your foundation is shaky. But that was Correct. from the Moorish community. Which sure. That is nurture, right? They're, but we're not talking about, we're not, we're not talking about throwing our seed all around. We're talking about having sex. We can strap it up. I'm not suggesting we go out here and just start shooting up random clubs all throughout the country and the nation, and the world. No, strap your wood up. But please go out there and have all the sex that you want, bro. Like, what, what are we talking about? Like, where does self discipline come in? Why do I have to yeah. discipline myself? And this no, is but my my question is at is what a, age does a man decide uh okay i have to have discipline because not only sexual discipline but that that bubbles over into other ele elements of your life whether it's career or and i think that's, that's what the post is trying to say it's like if you just out here sticking and moving with your you know with your manhood like that then do you really have solid direction everywhere else in your life or are you right. holding on by a thread everywhere else? right that's that that can clearly doesn't make any sense because the we get wealthier we get more and more of our money the older we get correct F fellas is that fair so being being, oh, I mean, yeah, being that's, more I mean, reckless not sexually that's does not mirror some, a recklessness in other parts of someone's life so i i say this okay he's being reckless because he's having having sex if he's I'm if saying he's, as long as he's wearing protection you know as long as he's protecting himself how's he really being reckless i mean f to me as a man in 2022, you're gonna have to cipher through a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit ass women out here. So you're gonna have to cipher through the bullshit until you find that right one. And if that means after 35, you still looking, then keep on looking, guys. Like, no. like even I said, in the even I, in the I, I mean, is a lot this will go back to my women. question: is it nature versus nurture in the Moorish community, Islamic community? Pretty much they're saying what you do in one aspect of your life is a reflection how you handle everything. So if you don't have, if you can't control certain urges in this one aspect of your life, that means you can't control other urges in your life. So that's why I'm asking, is it nurture versus nature? Because these are these are being taught to men. Really quick, this is this is what I say. When you're younger, you have less to lose and less to protect. When you get older and you've built stuff and you have insurance, health insurance, 401ks, IRAs, et cetera, et cetera. When you build up and you have stuff to protect, you will move differently naturally because when you get in trouble or when you are reckless, that stuff is compromised. Yeah, you, you know, got more, so more to lose. I'm saying oh, reckless. Oh. I'm saying reckless, not just the act of having sex, but if you're going to be dealing with not good women to just have sex with them things are going to happen whether they're going to catch feelings and make your life a living hell whether they're going to give cases and 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 lawsuits or whatever you have way more percentage of problems that could happen when dealing with these reckless women living a reckless life well, that's who said who said, who said go around women, smashing though. reckless women you don't do we that. Gotta keep adding these words hold on i don't care what age i am i'm not gonna deal with a reckless ass woman Thank you. Hank, let me jump in here real quick. Listen, y'all keep adding words to this, right? Oh, you, why are you going out here uh, throwing your seed all around? Why are you out here messing with reckless women? We're not saying we're trying to smash a bunch of reckless women and shoot all their clubs up. No, ladies, stop the cap. Really? I'm not saying go out here. Hey, you know what? There's a corner store right up there. It's three females standing outside selling cat. Yeah, let me just grab them and throw them in my body bags. No, that don't even make any sense, dog. Come on, man. Y'all stop the cap now, ladies. It says nah. 35 and up just having sex. So nah. how are you vetting the women to have sex you, with? You vet. How are you right. vetting how are you vetting the women to have sex with? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's get Rio in here. Rio, what you think? You know, do you agree with Quest where uh you know there's still a certain amount of vetting, no matter how many bodies you get, and you're still vetting some of these women to you know, to at least be respectable women before you before you take them, you know, turn them into a bust down. Or do you think that it's, you know, like a phase we go through? You know, just what are your thoughts after hearing what everyone has said? Automatically think of a single man, right? 
I don't think you even have this issue if you're not single, right? So if we're thinking um, along those lines, you got to vet because as you get older, you got a lot more to lose. Hopefully by 35, you got something to lose, right? So with that being said, you don't want to go around just picking up anything, right? But we also got to be intentional about how we approach things. If you were just interested in having sex with somebody, it does not necessarily mean that you are going to maintain some level of relationship after that. Sometimes you literally have sex and going about your life. We got to acknowledge that because men are very willing and capable of doing that. Ultimately, if we don't even see this as a, as a, a real prospect, you know, as far as longevity, relationship, marriage, we, we really aren't going to try to string things along just so we can have access to sex. Sometimes we do. You can get caught up there. You could absolutely get caught up there. It happens. Is it wise? Hopefully by 35, you know, that's not wise. So I agree with a uh, question from the standpoint of there's no reason why you need to discipline yourself if you are not doing it for a specific relationship. Right. If you don't have a relationship, if you don't have a woman, there's no reason to discipline yourself or to have to control the, the urge, per se, when you want to have sex for what? I think it's right? disgusting. I think it's gross. And well, if a dude tries to talk to me and he's busting down multiple chicks, I'm not going to sleep with him. How that. you going to know that? I don't deal I, you with know, Kelly. You wouldn't know, Kelly. Kelly, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. How would you know, Kelly? You know. Oh, my God. You can tell I'm not putting it on Instagram. Wait, no, no. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hank, hey, 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 <laughs> Kelly, I want you to answer that. How would you be able to know if because a man had all these bodies? No, I'm not talking had all these bodies. I'm saying you're saying if he if he's just sleeping around randomly and he has no woman to... No, let me talk. <laughs> and he has he has no woman to like stop having sex for. So he's single. You can tell, yeah. If he's single and you're getting to know someone, you're not gonna enter me if you're still humping all these other chicks. And yes, you can tell when a guy yes, you can tell when a guy is sleeping with other chicks. They're they're very it's there's obvious things. Like if you pay attention, you can tell. You can tell. You know you, <laughs> yes, you, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right. Yes, you can. Number one hey, and number two. We're, I guess I guess, I guess I guess I'm just cut from a different cloth because my dad, he was he was uh, he stopped having sex at 22. He gave his life to the Lord. He became a Christian, and he promised God he was going to be celibate until he met his wife. And he wasn't in a relationship. He just wanted to focus on a relationship with God, and he made that promise to God. So he was celibate for six years before he met my mom, and my mom was the last woman he had sex with. So. For guys to just say, oh, I just can't do it because I'm single. I'm just going to stick my dick in anything. That's crazy to me. And it, whatever, you guys, I, I know everyone thinks differently. And it's okay because you have a penis and you're a man and you're allowed to do it. Go ahead. Fuck the world. But I I, I don't think it's safe. I think it's ridiculous. You guys talk about dick discipline. You guys talk about protecting your seed. Why aren't you doing that? And then you want to wonder why women get pregnant if you stop busting on everybody. I didn't say. So I just want to address a couple of those points. For one, we never said that we could not Thank you. be absent. We said that we would choose not to be absent if we were single. That's that's a, an individual man's preference. Number but two, you're not talking about being in a relationship. You're talking about oh, people who are single. Sex, I'm gonna do it with her. I don't know her. So, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just do people it. who are single. I'm you, a single, you know, guy. single guy. Single guys. Number two, so, we all so. this this term dick discipline. That's something that's been brought up. It doesn't necessarily mean we all agree across the board on what that means to us. So that's another thing. We we as a collective don't all have the same perspective on what that means. I will also say this. It, it's a little bit naive to believe that you can tell every man who comes who, who comes no, along your path. Not every man, not but if I'm being, dealing with whether whether or not he's being too sexually active you can't no. that's not possible no, no, no. it's but, not it's but, not it's not any no, guy I'm saying, if, I'm dealing, if i'm dealing with a man if i'm dealing you with sniffing him, that man's balls? There's just, hey, how do you what? know you don't what? know there is, the, there fact is, the fact is no, you don't there know is, you, there, may there are suspect. you may suspect but you don't know for certain and in, fact, real, and in fact what you're we, supposed to do called conversation you're supposed to have talks like this when You're people tell you to. what they want you to know. Man, I'm going to tell you why. Now, this is we the talked about thing. it last week. This Lie to these hoes. Lie to them. 
And when you find the right one, you zone in. I told you last week, Kelly, I'm going to lie to you. No, I ain't sleeping around. I'm, I'm just for nope. you. And you only. And I'm going to let you think that. But I'm going to knock you down. I back to no, back no, to the original you point. No, you wouldn't. Well, no. no, I'm not talking about Lily. I, you know what I'm and, talking and about. And here's the and here's the other thing. Don't take it that way, baby. And, and, and here's the other note. Talking doesn't mean you're together. Talking is not together. Okay, you may make a you may make a commitment to each other to say that we are going to be sexually exclusive to each other, but talking doesn't make him yours or yours or you his. Let's just be clear. That's your emotions telling you that. But see, right? Rio, so yeah. I, I don't mean to cut you off, right? But see, I, I get where you're coming from, but then you have the ones that, look, Quest laughing, I ain't even said nothing. Because you, you say the same, you start off with the same phrases. I don't typically agree. And what was the last one? Don't let them come for you, Siobhan. Hey, look, every time when I hear it, I laugh. My bad, girl. Go ahead. No, you're fine. You're fine. But then, look, you have you have some men that are like, okay, you have the men that complain like, oh, you know, the girl that they're laying down with, you know, has condoms or whatever. Like, oh, what you need condoms for? Like, oh, I can bring my own, right? Like, why can't I just be safe, number one? And then, number two, you also have the people that that go around and be like hey don't put your emotions in it like we just having sex just that you know just to have sex like this and that but then when a woman does that then we're wrong then we're a hoe then we're a slut and it's frustrating why are you trying to do what we do okay why should do what we do. why should but but why shouldn't some women do that when that's what some men do it's just like okay let me show you don't don't put my emotions in it. i can show you better than i can tell you I'm going to lay down with you and have no emotion. And I'm anymore. okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't want your emotions into it. I'm just trying to fucking get up. That's all I'm trying to do. And from another thing, I'm not accepting uh, a condom from a woman. Man, you should never accept a condom from a woman because I don't know your intentions. Hey, look. Okay, say I just want to say that again. <laughs> hey, 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 that's the word. Say right, that let again. Me, hey. Let me say it again. Men. You should never accept a condom from no woman because you don't know what her intentions. <laughs> right on. Hey, but hey, Jr. You, you got to have to work work through these damn uh, sound effects because that wasn't the right sound effect for what Hank just said. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it was a bad <laughs> joke, bro. Right. That was a, that was a bad <laughs> joke. That was not a bad <laughs> joke, Jr. He started the show saying he had a new soundboard. He did say that. Yeah, exactly, JR. <laughs> hey, JR, we're going to show you look great for your new soundboard. Before. I wanted to jump in on a, on a statement. Let me see. So, men 35 and up just having sex. Yeah. Yeah. Men 35 and up just having sex. Come on, Toy. Come on, Seth. Dang, y'all can Toy talk. Come on, Toy. So, honestly, I think they nasty. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait. So honestly, I think this goes back to like uh, I was <laughs> really Jr. This nigga Jr. So, I don't want one right now, bro. <laughs> honestly, I think this goes back to what they've seen in a household. I think this goes back to also we already know like what at the age of. What is it 30? The brain is fully myelinated. Okay. So that's when everybody's making like really like they're really critically thinking about everything. Oh, that's so, 25. When they're when they're fully developed, their frontal lobes. No, 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 no. The the myelination that's on your nerves that helps to make when you're making decisions, when you're thinking about stuff, that's the the electrical activity that's going through your nerves. That have the my the myelin sheet. I don't want to go too deep into all that, but your brain is fully myelinated. I think when, I think at the age of thirty, somebody can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. But I think this. I think a lot of this goes back to what like a young man seen in the household as well, right? So just because and, and it's always going to be a double standard because men they can do this. They can literally. I mean, look. Screw the world and then get to 35, 36, 37 and say, hey, I want a 25 year old that's a virgin. That they, they can do this. They can. Women, we can't do it because the way our bodies are made, we look our absolute best in our 20s. 
And that's mm -hmm. when we should be like zoning in to find who we're going to be with and spend the rest of our lives with. Guys can do that. It, it's it's not it's not like a fair type thing, like trying to make it seem like it's like fair, but they are granted that opportunity to do those things. The only thing for me that makes it reckless is if these guys are out here sleeping with women without protecting themselves, because then not only, you know, kids, you got to think about STDs, you know, also you want to think about soul ties because with men and women, when you give yourself to someone, you're, you don't know what else you could be right. living as well. So men are like, men can go out there and just have casual sex with, you know, women, if they want to, the only thing is, you know, it, there's other things that they have to think about, but I think a lot of it goes into what did they see in the household? I think if a young man came up in a household where he saw like a family kind of setting, he may kind of, you know, jump straight off the porch and he may go into a family setting, but for a young man that hasn't, he's like, I'm going to play the field until I get ready because time is on their side. Time is not on our side. Hmm. 